It is day two of Buffalo Bills training camp just outside of Rochester. And as the team prepares a game plan for the upcoming season, the fans are there every step of the way. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Matt Bovey is live at St. John Fisher College. Matt, I can't believe camp is here again. Hannah, I just can't believe it's training camp. You said it. So many people wait for this time of year. They wait all off season to finally get to football and hey, it's here and we're already done with day two. Well, these fans come and they fill the stands. So many fans obviously watching what the Bills are doing on the field. But today, one special fan got to meet some of those players as they came off of the field for an experience of a lifetime. Meet Jack Frost. Yeah, seriously, that's his name. Jack loves the Bills, but it wasn't always that way. I was in the hospital, um, but my dad got me into football. Um, I was never really interested in football, but when my dad got me into it, I was the biggest Bills fan. We look good. We look good together. Jack suffers from a rare blood disease that put him in the hospital for three years. He says he's doing great health-wise, but today, that was all an afterthought, as he got to meet some of his heroes. You have fun today? Mm -hmm. And while Jack was in the hospital, he acquired a special talent. I can name every player every, by number. So you know we had to put Jack to the test. 23. Air Williams. Uh, 14. Sandy Watkins. Five. Tyrod Taylor, of course. Obviously. He says, of course, because Tyrod Taylor is Jack's favorite player. And after today, his friend. I asked Jack if he wanted fans to know anything about this year's team, and he had one simple message. The Bills will make it to the Super Bowl. How contagious is that smile on Jack? He was just so excited the whole time that we were with him. Now, I couldn't stump him on any of those numbers, so he certainly does know his football. Another person who knows his football, Joe Biscalia. He is going to be coming up in just about 15 minutes. He's going to talk about everything that has happened on the field behind me these last couple days. That's in just 15 minutes. We've also got more right now on our WKBW app. Live at St. John Fisher College, Matt Bove, 7 Eyewitness News. You're right. His smile was contagious, getting me so excited for this season. Thanks, Matt.